Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial for USMLE topics. This one deals with uh, different types of hemoglobin and um, I'm going to discuss some pathologies associated with the different types of hemoglobin. Um, okay, so let's get right into it. So in an adult, the most common type of hemoglobin is hemoglobin A and hemoglobin A has two alpha chains and two beta chains that consists of 95 percent of all the hemoglobin in an adult. In an infant it's actually going to be hemoglobin F which consists of alpha 2 and gamma 2. Okay, That's found in infant. From about the third trimester a fetus is going to start making hemoglobin A2 which is not alpha 2 and beta 2, it's alpha 2 and delta 2. That consists of a small range of hemoglobin in an adult. Okay, So if you ever see that hemoglobin A2 is significantly higher than it should be, you know there is a pathology associated with the structure of hemoglobin. Okay. Um, the other hemo the types of hemoglobins that we have to know is uh, sickle cell. Um, I'm going to start with this one right here, hemoglobin AS. Hemoglobin AS is um, a heterozygous form of sickle cell disease. So it's called sickle cell trait. It's not called sickle cell disease because they don't form, there is no sickling of the cells. You have to, in order to have sickling of the cells, you need to have a homozygous um, sickle cell disease, which is hemoglobin S, which is right here. So these are also the two different hemoglobins we have to know. Uh, other variants are hemoglobin C, hemoglobin E, and hemoglobin SC. Hemoglobin C is is like sickle cell disease. It's it's it deals with the the structure of hemo, you know uh, an abnormal structure of the hemoglobin. Um, it there is a variation on the beta chain of the hemoglobin, and this ver this variation leads to mild hemolytic anemia, mild chronic hemolytic anemia, and that is if it's homozygous. If it's heterozygous. Uh, then we have hemoglobin SC disease and it deals with the beta chain and but it does not cause any sickling okay it's uh, the heterozygous form of hemoglobin C hemoglobin E is also a type of uh, hemoglobin which is due to variation in the beta chain this variant causes mild chronic hemolytic anemia so these are all the different types of hemoglobin. Um, if I remember correctly, sickle cell deals with mutation of the of the of the glutamic acid with valine. So sickle cell is a replacement of uh, glutamic acid with valine, and for HBC disease, it's replacement of glutamic acid with lysine. So they both start should be glutamic acid in both, but in sickle cell it's valine. In HBC disease, it's lysine. Also, one more thing I want to mention is in beta thalassemia. I'm not sure why it doesn't happen in alpha, but in beta thalassemia, if there is beta thalassemia going on, then the there is increased amount of alpha two and uh, hemoglobin F, hem uh, hemo hemoglobin F um, that is predominantly found. I guess beta thalassemia cannot, cannot produce any kind of um, RBCs that's remotely functional. So I guess that's why they make so much A2 and F that is very, very parent. Um, and it's, uh, it's usually seen in beta thalassemia. So that's all about thalassemias. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any comments, leave me a message below. And uh, I will post these notes onto my blog. So please visit my blog for any further notes if you want. I can make, an, an, make another video on thalassemia if you want specific, um, um, specific uh, ideas of how to tackle thalassemia. I know a lot of people do have trouble with it. Um, anyway, so I'll see you on my next video. 
and bye for now.